time for the one man band, baby. If uh, you're into WWE, but uh, yeah, so um, this next one coming up is basically the only thing I think we kind of like walked away from cars with is saying, oh yeah, you know, this is uh, <laughs> well, at least we enjoyed this. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think that Josh Scorcher, when he was doing his top 10 music battles, was saying one man band was paired up with cars. And to be quite honest, that was the most enjoyable thing than cars. So, yeah, uh, even though that it's only like four or five minutes long, it was actually pretty enjoyable and had a really interesting story about these two performers who are begging for money in the streets. And then you have this little girl who only has one coin left that she's going to put into the fountain. And so these two musicians just duke it out so that they can be able to win the coin. Yeah. I just think it has a really great message this, because uh, when you really think about it, um, the, um, the whole message that comes away from this is that, uh, you know, um, they do all these really complex, like one man band things like the, you know, they, 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 the instruments are, uh, you know, there's multiple fiddles, there's multiple guitars. There's like, uh, you know, different, like different types of instruments that are all you know, put together. You know, it's all very creative and anything like that. But, uh, then at the very end of the shot, like uh, the little girl who has the coin, who ends up losing it down the drain, you know, she, um, she ends up like you know taking one of like the uh, the the violins and then just like playing something really simple and really enjoyable and ends up getting like a like a big wad of cash you know like it's just it's a yeah I just think it has a really good message like you know just keep it simple you know when yeah uh, exactly you, you, what was it like keep it simple stupid keep it simple stupid yeah so it's a yeah and, and the way that the instruments were going back and forth with like you have everything from major percussions and violins and you know the two guys duking it out to see who would get just one coin and it makes me wonder about like how were they able to afford all these instruments because here's the thing like i am familiar with how um people are purchasing their instruments because you know i am friends and uh, i'm colleagues with uh, a bunch of people who are going into the music um, major in school, and they ain't cheap. I'll just let you know, they ain't cheap at all. And you have this one guy who has like eight violins, and you know one guy who has like you know like ten little tiny trumpets. So it's like, how, how, what is it that they both owned like a music shop, and now they're just struggling to make ends meet, and so they were able to grab what they had left. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, in regards to this, like, it's very creative. I have to say that, and uh, I love the fact that uh, it's all music driven. And uh, that's, yeah, that, I, yeah. I, I love music driven stuff. Yeah. So um, the uh, so the these two one man band guys are basically just battling out for like this one particular coin from this uh, little girl who uh, just really wants to kind of just throw it in the, uh, in the in the fountain. But uh, you know they end up fighting over her, and then she ends up losing the coin, and uh, then she demands that it comes that uh, they they re re uh, reimburse her for the lost coin. But uh, then she ends up uh, just grabbing a, a violin, playing her heart out, and uh, then the ending again, makes a massive bag of coins and uh, not giving any of them anything. So <laughs> yeah, she has like you know two coins, and she decided to throw it on top of the fountain for them to say, "Okay, good luck, guys. You're gonna need it." Mm -hmm. So this was a, this was actually released actually, and uh, it wasn't actually originally part of like the Cars uh, movie. This was actually first uh, de debuted at the Annecy uh, International Animated Film Festival. So. Yeah, it was. And then they decided to put it into the car short. And yeah, I mean, I, I think that even though that it has absolutely no connection with cars whatsoever, it's still a very entertaining uh, short. And once again, the music done by Michael Giacchino, who did the music for The Incredibles. And then he would do music for other uh, Pixar films and Disney shorts. It's like, this is where, in addition to The Incredibles, this is where he really got to shine in his music department. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I mean, again, it's, um, at this point, I mean, Pixar animation, we you know, it, it had it had its, um, we, we basically know what it is now. And uh, so I think, I mean, the one thing I will definitely say about this short is that we, we don't see anything like too massively unique in this, in, in regards to like the visual presentation. Like, we know that this is what Pixar can do. At this point, like yeah. you know, at this point, like we've been spoiled by all sorts of movies for for Pixar, uh, this and so it really more plays into the uh, what the physical comedy is and what the music comedy is, and uh, you know the whole presentation. You know, the, 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 it becomes more than just the, what the graphical presentation is. We know what you guys can do, Pixar. It's more kind of like you know what can you pull into this now, uh, basically. Yeah. And what, how creative, and how creative was... can you actually be with it? Exactly. And even though that this movie um, was nominated for an Oscar, very similar to like um, all the other Pixar shorts and, um, you know, features that would be featured after, um, you know, Tin Toy and uh, even the ones that came out during the Pixar films, this one actually lost to The Moon and the Sun, an Imagine Conversation. 
Mm-hmm. So um, even though it didn't win out, I mean, still a good shot. I mean, uh, it was um, definitely entertaining me when I was watching it. So yeah, yeah, I, I thought it was a, I thought it was really good, and I thought that uh, you know the fact that they were able to do everything with just you know, only music and no words. It's very similar to what we were discussing about in For the Birds. Is that you don't need to have dialogue in order for you to make something entertaining and engaging, and people for you to understand about what they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. So, um, we continue moving forward in our picks minis, and uh, the next one that we're going to go up to is uh, Mater, and oh no. <laughs> Prepare for pain. Yeah. <laughs> 